So here's the scrape ramate. There's a 2.0 millimeter step in here. It holds the insert. It's a Sandvik uh, tool bit. It's 2.1 millimeters uh, thick. And it's held down by this clamp, which has a, a 0.1 millimeter step on it. So it uh, will act a bit like a toe clamp. I've also uh, ordered uh, two diamond stones. Someone uh, recommended them to me, so uh, uh, I bought them because I can also use them for other stuff like, like sharpening knives and uh, uh, turning tools. I bought this one at a, uh, uh, I bought it uh, second hand from someone. He had a project with a boat. Uh, he had to remove a lot of uh, paint, but he didn't use his insert, so he sold it online. When I went to get it, I uh, uh, saw a, a thrift store where I got a few tools. There are some old chisels uh, I will use for the handle. I've got this uh, uh, funny looking saw. It's, uh, I think it's for lazy carpenters. And there's some, uh, some random uh, stuff in here. This uh, box was one euro. It has a circular saw. Attachment for a Black and Decker tool, but uh, I bought it uh, because uh, this chuck was in there. It's uh, a small Jacob chuck, and we'll use this for a, uh, a pin vise and this blade. And uh, I will probably be able to use this uh, for making some you know, some cutters for uh, scraping uh, mild steel. I extracted uh, the chisel from uh, this handle and I uh, drilled the hole a bit longer with a long drill and uh, side drilled it a bit with this uh, drill bit. So I can uh, try to uh, uh, get this in here. So I uh, opened up this hole a bit. I uh, checked the online video and there are different ways to uh, put a handle on, I think. Or people do it uh, in different ways, but... Uh, uh, or did he grab it like this? This was one of the methods I saw. Blade is stuck uh, or fixed, whatever you want. And now I can put the scraper bit in. And these uh, holes in the, the clamping uh, bit aren't aligned properly. So here's uh, one scraper. Now there are uh, uh, some different uh, geometries uh, I've seen uh, recommended. Uh, I've read somewhere uh, 300 millimeters, which I think is the uh, supplied uh, radius on the tool bit. 
But others uh, mention a uh, radii of uh, 80 or 70 millimeters. And uh, there's also a corner radius uh, to uh, prevent digging into the workpiece. And uh, that's something I, I will have to experiment with. But uh, now obviously I uh, can increase uh, radius uh, much easier than decrease it. So uh, I'll start with a with a low uh, corner radius and a big uh, main radius. Also something I forgot to mention is a uh, sawing blade. And one of the reasons I uh, bought the box was uh, because this was in it and uh, someone uh, uh, told me uh, on a forum where I asked some advice about scraping that uh, uh, high speed steel is better suited for uh, cold rolled steel when uh, scraping. And uh, he, uh, he said uh, if you uh, use a large uh, sawing blade and uh, you have not uh, enough tool bits uh, for the rest of your life. But uh, this one is a bit smaller and uh, it's not the proper uh, thickness. Or uh, not, uh, the, uh, not the same thickness as uh, the stool bit, but uh, I'll see if uh, if it works uh, when I've uh, got a bit more uh, experience uh, scraping. I've made this uh, sort of stamp to apply the bluing. I've seen people use uh, rollers uh, to uh, uh, make a film of bluing on a, on a surface plate. And I've seen uh, people recommending uh, a few layers of cotton to uh, to do it. So uh, I've made a cotton one. Uh, they say the cotton uh, layers of uh, bluing are a bit uh, less thick, so you can uh, get a better uh, uh, contact with the surface you're uh, scraping. Right, I uh, move my vise. Uh, I've got my surface plate. Uh, my stamping uh, thing or uh, thing to apply the uh, bluing. A uh, part of a uh, machine, it's cast iron. This was a uh, rough cast uh, surface which I filed down uh, with a rough file and uh, then a, a smooth file. This isn't uh, a part I need for something, it's just a piece of practice on and uh, I chose this uh, side because it uh, fits my vise. I moved uh, the vise because uh, uh, where I had it installed uh, normally it's uh, a bit too high I think. Uh, and uh, it's where I uh, keep all my uh, uh, parts for my lathe with which I've disassembled. But, uh, I need to uh, apply the blue one. Now, let's see, I've uh, already opened this box, but I've never used this stuff. It's already on my fingers. I don't know how well this will uh, come off. And I don't know how much I should use. Feels like a rather thick layer. Not uh, spread evenly. Maybe uh, this tool needs uh, a few more layers of uh, cotton. But uh, it's all, uh, all about finding out uh, how the process works. Now 
Nog wel. Zo. Large contact area. And maybe the layer is uh, too thick because there's no uh, in between spots. But uh, it shows clearly. Uh, I'm at the end of the uh, reach of my vice. But it shows uh, these edges are uh, uh, lower than the rest. So I need to strip this off anyway. And I uh, will first use uh, the factory ground edge, which is on here. It's uh, got a very large uh, radius. And I haven't seen uh, much recommendations of using it. Uh, but uh, if I, uh, this is the only chance I uh, can check it out. Uh, because I won't uh, be putting it back on uh, after I uh, uh, grind. Uh, this uh, thing. Now let's see. So I uh, think the higher I uh, put this, the, the smaller the, the gap will be, or the, the, the area I will be touching will be. There's, uh, there's a lot of blue, quite a lot. Which uh, indicates there's uh, too much uh, on the plate. So let's make an area over here. And this is just for trying out, I don't have any uh, purpose for the surface I'm trying to scrape. And I'm forgetting something. Uh, I just remember that uh, the first, uh, uh, when you start scraping a surface, then uh, you should uh, scrape the whole uh, uh, area first. Uh, for a good contact area. Now what? Uh, need to clean it. Uh, 
what I need. Some kind of uh, white spirit, I think. White spirit. I don't know what uh, the stuff is called in English. I've uh, got uh, the diamond uh, wrapping stone, which uh, should be only used uh, with water. Then I really don't know if I'm doing this right. This should have uh, the birds uh, parts. That maybe the stone is too large for the new object. Now it's uh, rounded like this, so I can reach all the spots. But uh, if it's hollow, then the stone might not be able to uh, uh, reach the center. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can uh, use this. Uh, so this uh, looks like a better uh, contact area. Thank uh -huh. 
need stone uh, leaves uh, scratches. So I'm gonna try something else next. Another angle. Now I will just scrape this a bit some more because it's uh, the roughing. this uh, watchstone. I'm gonna take a piece of this and uh, try uh, deburring with this. Uh, this is probably not the best way to do this. I 
you know better way to film it. This is an old blade to save it to from uh, the bin one day. Someone was going to uh, throw out a lot of old uh, stuff from my uh, toolboxes and uh, just put in there. I just took it uh, home with me. So bad. Now I've got to clean up uh, the dust. So I uh, clean these uh, surfaces. I just uh, flatten them with a piece of uh, sanding paper, uh, 60 grit. And now I can uh, try if uh, this works a bit better. I can see uh, cuts where I uh, scraped uh, quite deep, mm, or maybe even with uh, the edge, because there's uh, one uh, distinct line. And, uh, the other side uh, slopes a bit. Here's the surface. Uh, my camera is getting a bit hot and uh, I've got to uh, eat and stuff. So I'll uh, uh, do something else now. Um, just uh, uh, clean up my surface plate, uh, clean the tool and uh, continue later. <laughs> 